All right. Uh, some interesting developments today. Uh, Kimberly Cheadle, the head of the uh, U.S. Secret Service, did participate in a virtual uh, briefing today. Senator Josh Hawley was one of the principal participants in that. Uh, Homeland Security Committee, Republican senator from Missouri. Senator, very good to have you. Thank you. How did it go? But badly. I mean, let's be honest, the Secret Service is out there and the FBI now doing these secret calls, these behind the scenes briefings where, by the way, they don't really answer questions. Uh, they limited, strictly limited the number of questions. The Secret Service director herself did not actually brief. She was present on the call, but didn't do hardly any briefing. When she did try to answer a question or two, it did not go well. She was not well prepared. This needs to be done in public. Bottom line, we need public hearings. We need a full and thorough investigation. Neil, what we know about this is that there were 62 minutes, 62 between the time that the Secret Service identified the shooter as a person of interest, somebody acting suspiciously, and the time he started firing shots at the president. I mean, what in the world is going on? We've got to find out. Um, I, I, I missed, of course, that briefing was yesterday. There are going to be many more to come. You, uh, you, uh, you know, want to hold the authorities accountable and find out what, what was behind their thinking. But to your point, Senator, she has indicated she's not stepping down. Um, she intends to stay there. And unless the president and or Alejandro Mayorkas, her boss at Homeland Security, uh, pushes her out, she's there, right? Yeah, then nobody, here's, here's the pattern, Neil. Nobody in this administration is ever responsible, ever takes any responsibility for anything. Look at Afghanistan, 13 service members dead, hundreds if not thousands of civilians left behind to the enemy. And what did Joe Biden do? Nothing. Who was fired? Nobody. Now we've got a former president nearly assassinated. We have a good American shot to death at this rally, others in critical condition, and no one will take any responsibility. I mean, these people ought to be gone. Absolutely, the director ought to be gone. The whole top echelon ought to be gone. But I tell you what, we're going to get to the bottom of this and figure out what these people were doing. How did they allow this to happen? Why did they allow a good American to be killed? Why did they allow Trump to go on stage knowing they had a potential shooter? It's outrageous. Um, you know, separately, I, I did want to pick your brain, Senator, on Hunter Biden making some news. Uh, he's challenging the special counsel in his own tax case, says both of his cases should be thrown out. He cites Donald Trump's case dismissal over the special counsel appointment. What do you think of that? Oh, I think it's absurd. Absolutely absurd. This guy has gotten more sweetheart deals than anybody in America. If he were not Joe Biden's son, he would be in prison as we speak. Remember, this DOJ tried to slip in a plea agreement, tried to slide it past the court that would basically absolve him of all of his criminal wrongdoing. And only because the judge asked questions in open court did they actually go to trial. I mean, it's absolutely unbelievable. I'm sure he's just hoping and praying his father can hold on as president long enough to get pardoned. This guy's a criminal. He belongs behind bars. Um, let me switch gears back to tonight, Senator, and what's at stake for Donald Trump. His first speech, of course, since the near assassination uh, this past Saturday in Pennsylvania. What do you want to hear from him? What do you think people should hear from him? I think that uh, we should hear and will hear how he intends to make America strong again. I mean, this is a nation with a border so open that 10 million illegals have poured across. They're threatening our streets, pouring drugs into our communities. Our kids aren't safe at school. Nobody can go out at night. We've got wars everywhere around the world. This country is in chaos. And Donald Trump is the person to show the strength to bring the country back into order and to make us strong. I mean, what's happened under Joe Biden is we've gotten so weak. Our enemies don't respect us. Nobody in the world takes us seriously anymore. We need to make this country strong and safe again. And I think Donald Trump will speak to that tonight. Um, very quickly then, sir, uh, Donald Trump loves to connect with the people uh, and tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of them, sometimes at a single venue. Uh, but a lot of people are concerned about his safety and other candidates' safety when they have rallies of their own. Are you, if he wanted another large rally at another venue, knowing what you know of the Secret Service now and what, what they botched in Pennsylvania, would you recommend it? Well, what I would recommend is that the Secret Service overhaul all of their security procedures and actually start keeping the president safe. And that includes the sitting president, Biden as well, or whoever they may replace him with. I mean, the truth is the Secret Service totally, what we know now, 
The Secret Service totally botched this. They did not have appropriate manpower. They did not take appropriate precautions. They allowed that shooter to get up on the roof. They allowed him to take the shots. I mean, this is outrageous. Leadership should be changed. But, Neil, we're at the front end of this. We are, I'm not going to allow them to sweep this under the rug. We're going to have hearings. We're going to put them on the spot. We're going to get the facts, and we'll keep after it as long as it takes. Senator Hawley, very good catching up with you. Thank you very much. Thank you.